Welcome back to a new edition of Man Cave Astronomy. Here we are, we're uh, setting up our uh, site for our tripod or for our LXD75. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys kind of what we did or what I did. Um, so first of all, uh, the last time I did all this, um, there was a, you know, simply a, uh, I had a nice concrete pad behind my house and um, the, uh, the pad was fairly level, so it didn't take a whole lot. So what we were, what I did here where I've got a, a grass backyard, um, so what I had to do, I went to Walmart and bought just these little 12-inch patio stone kind of things um, for like $1.32 or something like that a piece. Very cheap. And uh, so what I did, I bought three of them. I, I set them out here. Um, I aligned them, and I'll show you how I did my alignment just to kind of give me some reference um just to kind of help if you remember before we always we kind of picked a spot on the on the concrete and made dots where we try to put our tripod down once we got our height and everything else um this being a dirt you know it's very unlevel so I had to re redo my measurements um probably after a few times um i'll probably come back out and recheck it with a level i'll do all that again and um but i just want to show you guys kind of um what you know how i did this and what i did to do this in case you've got a dirt yard um so all right so here we go we uh we took and i set the north stone the north north stone north stone yeah, yeah. It's, welcome to north, eastern north carolina folks um you can see west east north south and i just drew a line across the the stone and what I did, the, re the way I got this was I took just a, really this is honest to God, guys, this is just nothing more than a, a boat. Uh, it's a boat compass and, uh, you know, it can light up. I may, I may actually hook it up and light it up just at night just to, for why not. Um, it, it does have a light in it. Well, what I did is I took and I aligned on um, this with, sorry, my screen keeps going out. I aligned that with where the wires are cut in the back and that gave me a, a straight line point from my compass. And I just make sure it's, you know, lined up there, lined up here, and it's lined up on north. And it ain't gotta be exactly right on. Um, it just needs to be close. And that's really the whole goal is just get your stones close and then um to simply take a a level um nothing but just the, the good old magnet bubble level that we you know used before and uh you know stomp on your stones a little bit and uh make sure the stones are level it just kind of helps and then take it and put it across your tripod see we're level there you know different angles you know level there you know and straight across the the back you can see we're we're level on that one so that's really all you're doing is just leveling everything up and uh get your tripod good and level and, uh, and once you do all that like i said just you know make sure you know i did i did the same deal north south east west on all all three of the the stones on the corners just took something that's relatively straight draw a line across it give me an x target and uh, did it with all of them so now that i leveled up my tripod once again so next time i come out i should pretty much be able to come out and put my feet down in a place and have a known position um and then of course we are facing we are facing pretty much due north uh, with our telescope so you know it doesn't have to be perfect but uh but you do want it to try to be fairly accurate you know these things are you know this is just a just a very simple cheap tele uh compass and you know we're lined up pretty well it gives us a good reference is all it is we've got enough declination in our uh, in our mount 
um, with the, the right and left adjust screws, you know, right here and on the other side right here that, you know, we can, and then of course enough up and down movement um, through the front and the back screws. But we can get back in on, um, we can get back in on a, a center on Polaris and a liner mount. So really that's the biggest thing we're just trying to do is just get us a like i said just back to a good home position um something when we come out we can just simply set the mount down and be within you know a, a very close very close right off the bat um area of where we want to you know be when we we try to go ahead and do our uh, polar alignment to set up the equatorial mount all equatorial mounts this works for every equatorial mount out there as far as I know, if it works for something different um, or a, a different type of equatorial mount, please let me know. But uh, everything I've ever seen, this this should work. Especially with the newer mounts, you just need to have a, a basic general direction of north. Um, you know, it's very forgiving and uh, mine is not. So, like I said, my mount's very outdated. So, you know, but we're, we're still going to put this thing into to use and we're going to use it and we're going to do all the steps necessary to make it as accurate as possible because we, we want the same result um so you know these these mounts are not obsolete fully but you know it does take a lot of setup so just wanted to redo the the setup process for this again and uh this is a this is kind of a cool way to do it and uh you know your mount as your grass dies underneath your stones you'll need to recheck your level um you know we're in the spring and summer months here so you know um, I, you can see where I've tapped that one down fairly fairly hard to get it level and as the grass and stuff everything kind of settles you'll need to recheck your stuff but if you're not dead level it doesn't really matter it's just a good um, it's a good thing to be as level as possible so anyway hopefully we got clear skies tonight thunderstorms have moved off and uh, we're gonna try to I'm gonna try to attempt a polar alignment and just see um, if I can even align this thing um, with the crack polar aligner and uh, just see how close I am and maybe try to make some adjustments I am definitely the moon's already out um, and it looks like about a half a moon so I'm gonna try to do some some actual long exposure photography um, tonight and just trying to play around with that a little bit and just see how things go um, try to use some stuff it's, it's, it's been thunderstorming for like seven days up here so it's finally kind of cleared off in the afternoon and the evening or it's not so foggy and uh, try to do some stuff and I'll make another video. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend, so I'm um, kicking off my Memorial Day and uh, by supporting my troops and making some videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them and like them. So anyway, uh, signing off and uh, I will post my outcome tomorrow. All right.